sorry, here we're going to solve question 2 in the conditional probability section. We're given all sorts of information and it's possibly best to, to actually identify all the important information and write it out. So we have three events, A, B and C, and we are given a probability that A is equal to two-thirds, the probability that A or B is equal to five-sixths, the probability that B or C is equal to four-fifths. We also know two conditional probabilities, B given A, that's not a very nice A, B given A is equal to a half and the probability that C given A is three tenths. We are also given a vital piece of information. B and C are mutually exclusive. How can we translate that into algebra? That means that probability of B or C is the same as the probability of B plus the probability of C. And of course we are given that value, uh, you know, the probability B or C is four fifths. So, that is basically all the information. Then, the question, okay, is there a reason to believe that A and C are not statistically independent? Now, the statistically independent, that implies two things. Well, it implies one thing, but we can derive two things from this. This means that the probability of A and C is the same as the probability of A times the probability of C. Or we know that if two events are independent then the probability of C, so if C and A are independent then the conditional probability of C on A is the same as the unconditional probability of C. So all of this is true if A and C are independent. So that means if we can find some evidence that contradicts these statements, one of these two statements, then we have reason to believe that A and C are not statistically independent. Now how are we going to use that? Well, I think the most obvious way is to realize that we are given one of these probabilities, in particular probability of C conditional on A, we know that this is 3 tenths. So how do we formulate our question? We're basically now going to try and find the probability of C, the marginal probability of C, without assuming that A and C are independent, so from some other source, and then we're going to check is the value we get from there equal to 3 tenths. So the question is, is the probability of C equal to 3 tenths? How do we get there? Well, perhaps the most obvious way to start is to look at that green relationship here because there's the probability of C, this is what we want, right? And there's an equation here which implies that if we know the probability of B then we can determine the probability of C because the probability of C is equal to 4 fifth minus the probability of B. So where can we get where to get the probability of B. Okay, that's what we need to get C and the probability of C. And then we compare it. So let's see where we can find the probability of B. So let's identify all the bits of information or at least sufficient bits of information that we have 
that involves the probability of B. Now here, for instance, we know that the probability of B conditional on A is equal to a half. So we know, let me write that down here, a probability of B conditional on A we know using our general formula is equal to the joint probability of A and B divided by the marginal probability of the conditioning variable and that is a half and is there anything else we can use well you see here we have well, we can use it here we have the probability of A or B is equal to 5 6 and we also have the probability of A here so let's see whether we can use that we know that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B we don't know whether they are mutually exclusive that means we have to subtract probability that of A and B. And we know that we start for this probability A or B is 5 6. So, and now the crucial insight. Think about our first, we should realize we have two equations here. Okay, they come from different sources. So, two equations. What do we know in here? There's a number of terms. Probability of A, we actually have that. That's two thirds. So, let me just put a tick in there. Probability of A is here as well. And that means that all together, there's really two equations with two unknown the joint probability of A and B and the probability of B. So, we have two equations. with two unknowns and these are the probability of A and B and the probability of B okay that means we should be able to solve for, for probability of B two equations two unknowns and I leave that up to you that's a bit of algebra but we expect you to know that at this stage it turns out that the probability of B is equal to a half. Okay, so that's the marginal probability of B. Now we can use that to go back to this equation. Okay, let's call that the asterisk equation. So we're gonna substitute this into the asterisk equation that means the probability of C is equal to four fifths minus a half and that is of course eight minus five tenth that is three tenth so, and that means what we found here is this guy here is the probability of C, the marginal probability of C. We arrived at this result without ever assuming that A and C are independent. Nothing in here assumed that A and C are independent. So we found the marginal probability to be equal to 3 over 10. And it turns out that is the same as the conditional probability of C conditional on A, 3 over 10. So that means this result does not contradict the assumption that A and C are statistically independent. If they are independent, we would indeed expect the conditional probability of C conditional on A and the marginal probability of C to be the same, and they are the same as we can see here. Okay, so none of this information seems to suggest that they are not statistically independent.